La Tour Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower. The unmistakable and iconic monument of France, renowned for its monstrosity and remarkable beauty, the Pride of Paris. But like all great monuments, the tower has its origin. Alexandre Auguste Eiffel was a French civil engineer that was born on the 15th of December 1832 in Dijon, France. Eiffel studied chemistry at Ecole Centrale Paris but later shifted his focus to civil engineering. The Eiffel Tower was built by Eiffel and his team of architects in an astonishing two years, two months and five days. An architectural triumph, she was the first substantial iron-based structure in the world, influencing all skyscrapers and major structures that were to come. It epitomizes how a city can be recognized by a single structure, just like the Sydney Opera House. Like all major milestones in our world, the tower faced tremendous criticism. The first time it loomed over French streets, a clear majority of France were unimpressed and deemed the structure vulgar, extreme and a waste of resources. However, those who knew and appreciated art were flabbergasted by how Eiffel could achieve such a structure in such little time. A record breaker at the time, the tower stood at 325 meters high. Standing both as a landmark and as a monumental example of material structure, properties and performance. Eiffel's impact on engineering was great. His use of prefabricated metal pieces as well as puddling iron, whose method of production was one of the most important steps in the making of the first appreciable volume of high-grade bar iron, led to other innovators and engineers around the world adopting his method and ideas to carry out their developments. The tower also had an impact on Eiffel himself, as it, it redirected his interest to aerodynamics, prompting him to write several books including The Resistance of the Air and Aviation, a book that influenced the work of the first aviators, the Wright brothers. A more familiar impact of the Eiffel Tower is the fact that it inspired the construction of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, where similar methods and materials were used. Eiffel worked during a time of gross industrial development in Europe, the Industrial Revolution. He firmly believed that the aesthetics of a structure was equally as important as its practicality, insisting that basing all decisions made in engineering on rigorous calculations of involved forces was key, a practice that has been adopted and utilized in the construction world to this day. Eiffel devoted the last few years of his life to his experimental research of aerodynamics, winning the Samuel P. Langley Medal for Aerodynamics in 1913 as a result. He passed away on the 27th of December 1923, but his work and legacy lives on.